Cancer, let's start with your reading. Today, we're going to look into the energies around you at the moment, and then we will take a look at the events coming up for you in the near future. Okay. Beautiful. Eight of Pentacles, the Magician, Ten of Cups, Nine of Swords. Okay. So, listen, the energies on the surface are absolutely beautiful. There is something that needs to be worked out underneath the surface. And this is going to be absolutely important because, as you know, it's at the very foundation of what's happening right now in your life and especially what's going to happen. But look at this. The main energy for your reading is the Nine of Cups. There is definitely a wish coming true for you here. Something you have hoped for, it's finally going to manifest into your environment. But there is a huge but right here. For some reason, I get a message from this card right here that I don't think I've ever got before, but it says, obviously, careful what you wish for. Because this yes might come true, but is it really what you want, Cancer? This feels like an old wish that maybe you have even forgot about at some point. And right here, we just overall see that there are definitely many layers to this situation and we'll have to dig deep in order to understand what this message is about. This is taking you definitely closer to someone or something and it will be very hard to come back from it in case you ever need to. I sense also that you feel ready to love, ready to say yes to something and your heart right now is more open than it has been in a long time. So let's start from the beginning. Eight of Pentacles and Nine of Swords. Right here, I see that you have been going through something, Cancer. Something perhaps painful that you might have been forced to deal with, even if you just wanted to put it aside. This could be an external situation, but this struggle somehow is coming from within. Externally, in fact, everything seems to be working fine, but inside there is something emotional happening, which is trying to unfold, trying to resolve. But right here with this Eight of Pentacles, I just see you distracting yourself with work, taking care of things, progressing, achieving as well. And that's how the world around you is perceiving you right now. And perhaps that's exactly what you want. But inside this Nine of Swords underneath the surface, it's telling us a different story, which you're trying to ignore and silence as much as possible. You know, it could be just old pain for some of you, something that feels random, but it's really not. It's here for a reason. It looks like with this Eight of Pentacles energy, you might be working hard to make up for a loss. Saying, you know what, if you're not concerned about me being happy, then I'll make myself happy. I have the tools, I have everything that I need. Overall, right here, you're not wanting to wait on someone to manifest what's important to you and what overall you're looking for. But I feel that deep down, you're still trying to detach from that past emotional situation. And also what I see here is a beautiful realization from you. Right here, you're thinking, you know what? Pain doesn't have to be forever as long as I take action and move forward. Sometimes we forget that pain, it's a state that we can escape and we surrender to pain itself thinking, well, this is what it is. This is my destiny. No, it isn't. And here you're trying to prove it to yourself. You might have rushed out from a painful situation in the past without getting proper closure. 
And right now, certain memories, at times at least, might come back. Certain memories, certain feelings, things are resurfacing here. And you're thinking, where the hell are these coming from? But don't lose yourself in that energy. Sometimes you just need to keep following your intuition, even if your mind goes back into the past. Don't forget that the mind transcends space and time. It goes backwards, it goes forward. The intuition instead always looks forward. And that's what you need to focus on right now. In the present right here, I see the magician, page of swords, the moon. You are in manifestation mode right now, Cancer. All the more reason to make sure that the previous conflict is resolved so that you can control your focus. Why? Your focus is a spotlight, and light makes any energy grow. Whatever energy you focus on is bound to grow when you focus on it. If there is something unsolved, it's going to grow even stronger, and we want to av avoid that right now. An important opportunity is definitely coming up for you, and you want to make sure that you're going to make the right choice. And I feel that the right choice here is choosing you. We'll see why, but you have to be strong right now because your current energy has great potential to impact your journey and the cycle's final outcome. You are definitely picking up on some Page of Swords energy. Someone might be spying on you, focusing on you, watching you at a distance. There's a powerful interest towards you and you might not know why you feel weaker and why you space out about thinking about things, thinking about the past, and this is why. You know, again, Cancer, I say this often for water signs, but you're made of water, which means that you're deeply impacted by the energies around you. Air can create those huge waves into the oceans. And obviously, those waves wouldn't exist if they weren't impacted by the air coming in. And so right here, we clearly see something that changes within you because it has changed into your environment. Don't slip away from that energy of confidence that you have with the Eight of Pentacles, knowing that you can achieve anything you set your mind to, knowing that you can control your water element, even if you are impacted by other elements around you. Be in the moment. How do you do that? Be in the moment as much as you can, because some important decisions are coming up right here. You need to be here in this current headspace. Now, on the other end, we definitely have an obsession growing for you, someone growing that obsession for you, talking about you to their friends, wanting to tell the world perhaps that they're okay without you, but they're really not. Someone here is definitely in denial about something, and perhaps they will also reach out soon after a long time not talking, just to remind you that they're not talking to you. <laughs> you know, other than being silly, this can actually be distracting for you. Distracting you from your journey to true happiness overall. This will feel like a shortcut to a faster, happy outcome, but it's not really a shortcut. It's actually derailing you from your righteous, successful outcome. And you can see it, especially with the next two cards. Oh my God. Look at this. Like never before, Cancer, you have full control over your destiny right now. And um, a quote comes to mind from Superman. With great power comes great responsibility. And right here, that's exactly what I see. You truly would have no one else to blame in case you make the wrong choice here. I don't think I've ever seen this combination before. Someone is going to make a move and it's going to be a bold move. And you need to choose from a place of inner balance cancer without rushing into something that you might regret later on. But there is also a very big chance for you, something that will take you back to a place of happiness, success, it's here. 
And so we just need to make sure that you know how to handle this incoming energy because I'm telling you, whatever comes your way, it's going to be a huge temptation. And maybe it's that old wish that you even forgot about that now it's coming true, but something has changed into your environment, Some, something has changed within you. And maybe you don't even want this anymore, but it's going to be very tempting because it would give you immediate gratification, instant validation. But is that a wise choice for your long-term happiness instead? We'll have to look into it. Look at this strength card. <laughs> this is all about strength. It's all about controlling your immediate instinct. It doesn't mean that you have to say no to what's coming in, but the way you're going to approach this is going to make or break the relationship itself or sorry, the situation itself. Six of cups, two of swords. This is going to make you very emotional and it's going to put you in front of that choice that we keep talking about here. You're either going to end up into this 10 of cups or this 10 of swords. So, Let's see what's coming towards you in the near future, but especially let's focus on how to best handle it so that you don't lose your way towards that beautiful Ten of Cups, which really shows a happily ever after, a time for long lasting love and happiness. How does that energy, this Ten of Cups, actually connect with that old wish that you had at some point and that now is about to come true. Let's look into it. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, Cancer, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every week, I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal 30 minute reading I send out emails every Monday morning to confirm. Make sure to check out your spam folder as well, please. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading cancer, the bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the future situation. Obviously, it's the night of once. Wow, this is definitely talking about uh, that page of swords, that incoming energy, which perhaps is just that wish that you once had. This Knight of Wands is something or someone who is coming in after an impulse. Someone who can be very charming and who could really manipulate your vision around the situation as well. This person comes in with such confidence, no fear of rejection that almost puts you in a place where you cannot reject this because that's the type of vibe that they have and it makes it very hard to go against it. But at the same time, this Knight of Wands is someone who is showing you a new side of themselves. And again, if it's just a situation, an outcome, this is showing you a new side of that situation that maybe you were hoping for, but that you just thought it didn't exist. Here it is. What are you going to do with it? Obviously, we have passion and we have attraction. We have something that feels like a positive momentum, which might make you feel enthusiastic and impatient to follow the same energy, but it might not be the best choice for you. We'll see. Again, with water, this is kind of like an earthquake coming in and it's shaking everything around you and it wants to make you shake as well at the same frequency. Should you? Let's see. Let's clarify this Knight of Wands and let's see what's coming in in the near future. Mmm, <laughs> I knew it. I didn't want to say it, but I knew it. <sighs> all right, Cancer. First of all, we get this.